So yo guys, RJ here. So with the price drop of phones like iPhone SE, there are still people who will consider to buy iPhone SE at that price range. And also it's worth noting that the Moto G5 Plus is also a cool competitor at that price range. So which one should you buy? So let's find out. The iPhone SE is no longer Apple's latest phone. The honor goes to iPhone 7 and the 7 Plus. They might not be radical designs, but new features are plentiful. Both are water resistant, have stereo speakers, wider color gamut screen. So you have to say bye to the headphone jack though, as it's been ditched. Phones getting bigger and bigger, but iPhone SE totally bugs the trend. Uh, this is a phone that's easy to use with one hand. Yes, the Samsung Galaxy S7, HTC 10, iPhone 6s Plus are great handset, but for many of us, they are simply too large. How can a phone with a 3-year-old look design do it? Apple has given a people choice with iPhone SE. The compact body is rare these day, but even though it's small, it packs a mighty punch. There is a powerful and a capable phone. It can boast the same top-notch internals as the iPhone 6s, a snazzy pink, sorry, rose gold hue, and support for the Apple Pay. Normally, a small phones are hamstrung. The iPhone SE isn't. A surprising amount of people I speak to say what they want a small phone that packs all features of full flat flagship. Sony is the only manufacturer to have a previously attempted anything like this, but even its Xperia Z5 Compact has so tiny, not so tiny screen, 4.6 inch screen and it's quite thick. The iPhone SE is much smaller and much easier to handle. Anyone who has used the iPhone 5 or 5S will feel at the ease of iPhone SE. It looks, feels almost identical. Expect you can get a fetching rose gold color that it cuts its edges are the matter rather than the shiny chrome. This phone have an iconic design and I have no problem with Apple reusing it, especially if it means that they can keep the cost down passing saving on. The best thing about the design of the iPhone SE is that it feels quality. The brushed aluminum back is both hard and cool to the touch. The buttons are solid and it's easily small enough to use one handed regardless of size of your hand. Coming from using an iPhone 6s and who I made, I also found it to be a relief to bend my leg again when I put my phone in the pocket. In other ways, it's taken me time to adjust the smaller screen. It's not just that I have to move it closer to my face to read text like my granddad reading the news morning paper. I also struggled with the small keyboard. Ironically, I often have used both my hand and thumbs on the phone to minimize the potential for embarrassing autocorrect fails. I have gotten more used to it, but I still don't find it comfortable after few weeks of using the phone non-stop. The small screen also means watching video is little cramped and while iPhone SE is more powerful enough to play all the best game, trying to maneuver precisely requires a denter digits than mine. iPhone SE still looks good. There are couple of aspects of the design that aren't perfect and others feel dated. For starters, if you don't use a case with iPhone SE, you might find the edges a little harsh, particularly if you are more used to the rounded metal sides on contemporary phone designs. The screen bezel is also rather wide, especially at the top and the bottom and that means you don't get a lot of screen for the size of the phone. That's not the problem only with the screen, it packs the exact same display as the iPhone 5s, while the 1136 into 640 resolution provides a perfect sharp 326 pixel per inch, lacks a punch and has a reddish tinge and that is exaggerated while it's tilted at some angles. Compare it to Samsung's colored pack Super AMOLED screen or even new LCD technology on the phones like HTC 10s and it really starts looking its edge. Still, it's quite acceptable, bright enough to be used outdoors and sharp enough to read websites on the go without noticing any fuzzy edges to the letters. Rear iSET camera is where the iPhone SE gets interesting. 
it packs the same sensor and lens as the iPhone 6s which means it has one of the most impressive phone camera on the market right now it's just not that the qualities of the picture iPhone SE delivers uh, that marks it's a cocker it's also that easy to use this is thanks to simple and the robust camera apps which allows enables to shooting live photos pictures that can also be viewed as a short video the iPhone SE camera produces the result that it beats its specs since the SE has the same camera and the processor as the 6s it also shares 4k recording at 30 frames per second not only that it comes with the excellent slow motion video recording that lets you to shoot a whopping 240 fps for 720p and 120 fps at uh, 1080p resolution a dual core a9 processor and 2 gb of ram might not sound like much when compared to the top flight android phones but iphone se is one of the most powerful handset that you can get right now it's bleeds over like for like benchmark test with the results almost identical to those from iphone 6s but because the screen resolution is so much lower it actually tests better on the some hardcore gaming test there's incredible amount of processing muscles the iphone se diminutes the frame and it doesn't get too hot or bothered by all the horsepower idle iPhone 5s didn't have the stamina I hoped for when I received back in 2030. It was average at the best. Since the iPhone SE battery is only a a larger, I didn't have any high hopes despite the fact that Apple told me the battery life is 50% better than the old flagship scoff. What it? So which one should you buy? Moto G5 Plus or the iPhone SE? Why Moto G5 Plus? larger screen larger battery life larger storage dual sync capability work in favor of moto g5 plus so if you are the one who is not a brand conscious and gets the job done for your phone then definitely go for the moto g5 plus why iphone se so the iphone se has a premium looks great rear camera great software updates great performance so if you are the one who likes this thing then definitely go for the iPhone SE and the iPhone SE will suit you i would definitely go for the iPhone SE it has a great camera great performance great rear camera so it's like iPhone 6s in a smaller form factor the average front facing camera and the screen has only the downside so if you can compromise with that the iPhone SE is a great buy so if you are the one who has registered in the selfie generation considered yourself to be warned so guys hope you enjoyed this video if so then give it a like button and if you're new to this channel subscribe to our channel pj tech toys so see you in next video till then be tech free